Because after all, it's a metrosexual station at KTS. No, <laughs> no, we wouldn't be homophobic. We used to be homophobic, extremely. We used to think that everybody was gay that was acting effeminate in any way. And ironically, we predicted that some of the Star Trek people were gay. Just because we were being random about it. We're all like, we're all like in high school, we're all like, Ah, oh, Sulu should be gay, because because he runs around with his shirt off and he has like a sword and whoosh, turns out George C.K. actually is gay. And years later, when he was like in his 70s, he was all like, yes, I'm totally gay. It's true, I have a life partner. And he's like, like, whoa, okay, that's a little weird. Uh, LaForge is not gay, although we thought he was, because they made, they wrote his character really gay the first season. They're like, ooh, let's make him say stuff like, oh, Wesley, not bad, when he was all rippling and powerful. What? <laughs> and oh, Data, my friend. I think the problem was that when LeVar Burton was doing this part, he didn't know that he was not supposed to act like he was talking to children because he'd been on Reading Rainbow at the same time. So he's like, oh, ooh, that's so exciting. And you get all excited about it. Like, what the hell? Finally, somebody told him, okay, LeVar, you don't need to act like you're on Reading Rainbow anymore. You're on the show because it makes it sound really uh, strange. Talking to kids or gay. So, well, not gay. Okay, well, maybe a little. No. <laughs> Another person that turned out to be gay was DeForest Kelly. McCoy was actually gay. Dr. McCoy was the one that probably wrote all those chaos books. Mmm. No. But he was. And, um, he admitted it. But he didn't get as much play as Sulu. Admitting Oh my. She said, Jimmy Boy was wearing that ascot in Star Trek V. It was pink. That was to tell the But apparently, Malcolm Reed, the guy that plays Malcolm Reed, was at a convention saying that his character was gay, which was funny. <laughs> he's all like, My character's supposed to be gay. Oh, actually, he said something cruder than that. Ooh, since he was British, he could get away with it. He's all like, My character is a faggot. The audience is like, oh my god, ah! Oh. He's all, but I can say that, I'm English. Besides, is that a bad word here? Oh dear. He apologized for it, which was funny. Maybe. We'll see. And of course, the two weirdos are going to show up in the studio, too. Except, uh, the other weirdo is not going to be there, because he was John Williams. He's been long gone since the 80s, so John Yeager's going to play him. To play the character of Billy Allen. Uh, and, uh, it will be Kelly Bullock's again.